Tiger Woods is officially back. I did not think I'd be saying this so soon, but just over 12 months after his accident, we will be seeing Tiger Woods teeing up at the 2022 Masters. But what clubs will Tiger Woods be using at Augusta National? Let's take a look. First up, let's go with Tiger's driver. Tiger's using the TaylorMade Stealth Plus, which is nine degrees and it's set to 8.25 degrees. The shaft is the Mitsubishi Diamana D Plus Limited 60 TX. We saw Tiger put the Stealth Plus in the bag for the PNC Championship at the end of 2021. The only change he's made to this is he's now set this at the neutral setting on the CG shifter on the Stealth Plus. At the PNC, it was on to the maximum draw setting, but now it's down to the neutral setting. Next up is his three wood, and at Tiger has the TaylorMade Sim Titanium, which is at 15 degrees, set to 14.25. And then similar to his driver, he's got the Mitsubishi Diamana D Plus Limited 70TX. So a slightly heavier shaft that you see with all PGA Tour players. I do find it quite interesting, especially for Tiger to be using the Sim rather than the Sim to or the stealth. His five wood is another blast from the past, being a tailor-made M3 at 90 degrees, and that is then set to 18.25 degrees, with the shaft being very similar to the others, a Mitsubishi Diamana D Plus Limited 80TX, so slightly heavier than the three wood, and then slightly heavier than the driver. Tiger doesn't have any driving irons or anything like that, so he'll be going straight into his normal irons, which are three to pitching wedge, and they are his own range, the TaylorMade P7TW, and they are with the True Tempered Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100 shaft. These are perhaps one of the least forgiving irons I've ever seen. They are available at retail, but I would not recommend any of you guys watching this video to get them because you are not Tiger Woods. They have no offset, they have no forgiveness, but Tiger doesn't need any of that because he hits it out of the middle every single time. On to Tiger's wedges, and I do find this again quite an interesting selection from Tiger because he still has the TaylorMade MG2 TW grind at 56 and 60 with the True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400. If you aren't aware, the TaylorMade MG3s were released towards the end of summer last year, and they do also have an MG3 TW wedge. For Tiger to still have the MG2 TW grind in his bag is just down to personal preference, and I know with a lot of players, they don't tend to change wedges that much. If if they're not that comfortable. Going on to his last club in the bag, you wouldn't be surprised in me saying it is his trusty Scotty Cameron GSS Newport 2 that has been heavily used. There is a strike mark right in the middle of the face and this is his trusty Scotty Cameron. I don't think he will ever change ever again. He had some instances where he would take it out of the bag, but this is the club for Tiger. We will see it in his bag for years to come, hopefully. The golf ball that Tiger uses, if you're not aware, he is a Bridgestone athlete for the golf balls and he uses a Bridgestone Tour BXS, a 2022 prototype. So a new ball for 2022. Be interested to see what numbers Tiger gets on the course with this. On the range, he was getting some really strong numbers with his driver, but when it comes to competition standards, I'm hoping we'll see over 170 mile an hour ball speed. You may think that's it, but we haven't even talked about the shoes, which has been all over social media for the last few days. Tiger Woods is a Nike athlete, but when he arrived at Augusta National, everyone was shocked to see him wearing the FootJoy Premier golf shoes in black and then in white. People were wondering, is this because he's no longer sponsored by Nike? Is it a different deal? The truth is it's because the FootJoy shoes provided more support for him after his accident. And it just is easier for him to walk around Augusta National, a very hilly course with the FootJoy Premiers in contrast to his Nike shoes. He is working with Nike to produce a shoe that will provide enough support for him but right now he's wearing the foot joys. That is it for today's video guys all about Tiger Woods. We are so excited here to see what Tiger does over the next four days. You can see he's in good hands with the clubs that he's using. Where will he finish though? Let us know in the comments where you think he's going to place. I think there's going to be a lot of buzz about Tiger on Thursday and hopefully we can see him somewhere near the top of the leaderboard come Sunday. Who knows? Guys, if you are new to Golf Magic, smash that subscribe button to keep up to date with all of our videos. We've got a lot more really fun stuff coming very soon. So, till the next video, guys, I'll see you later.